It is time now for ETF Friday. ETFs tracking stocks picked by analysts, hedge funds, even robots are beating the market this year. Here to give us more insight is Tom Sarfagas from Bloomberg Intelligence. So first of all, um, what, is, what are these? <laughs> yeah, sure. So these are a little bit different than what we're used to. So these ETFs are powered by picks from analysts. All right, and so there's really three key groups that I looked at. There are, there's the buy side. So there are ETFs that track holdings that are popular with hedge funds, right? Hedge funds have analysts too. Then there's the sell side. So there's an ETF, uh, Burn, B-E-R-N is the ticker by Bernstein. That's using their sell side ratings to fill in that ETF. And the third one is machine learning. It's the robots. Uh, there's an ETF, AIEQ, which is just machine learning. It's powered and it's picking stocks based on a, a bunch of algorithms that they put together. So these, instead of being based on an underlying index, for example, or a sector, they're supposed to be performance based. They're picking stocks that they expect will outperform. In sure, them, exactly. Right? Okay, yeah. just making sure I'm understanding this. Um, so, how are they doing? Yeah, so that's <laughs> one common thing they haven't that's going on this year. They're all outperforming the market, huh. right? And it's a little bit of a faux pas because the performance is a little bit short with some of these products. So I don't want to make a big, broad statement, but. It's noteworthy because these products, something like AIEQ is up 9% versus 4% for the S&P this year. And that sort of tracks with the idea that it's a stock picker's market, perhaps, or that gives some credence to it. Yeah. Um, are there any commonalities in terms of the picks that the buy side, sell side, and machines yeah, have, have chosen? Yeah, sure. So I looked at four different ETFs, and so I will say across the four, there's not a stock that appears in all four of them but there's some that come pretty close. Uh, so a name like Adobe Systems is across all hmm. three of them. Delta Airlines I thought was an interesting pick. Uh, Facebook, Alphabet, all owned, uh, most commonly owned names between the buy side, sell side, and the machines. Yeah, I guess that's not entirely surprising since those are widely owned anyway. Um, how about flows wise? Have we seen them be pretty popular? Sure, so the biggest one of the four is AIEQ. It's got $150 million in it. I'm not, it's so not, not a, very big. It's not very big, but for an ETF that just launched, uh, getting that kind of attention and getting that kind of flows is a, is a good thing. Because these products also, they're not competing on fees. They're a little bit more on the expensive side. So that product's 75 basis points. So the fact that they're getting the performance and the flows is a good right. encouraging sign. 